Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, 22 subscribers special, and this is a tour of the full Samford, a complete tour. I haven't done one of these for a very long time. Uh, a lot of it has gone on, so let's just get into it, I suppose. So, this is the entrance. I've only got four and a half, oh, three and a half stars, but it was, it went up to four once. This entrance way looks really nice. Um, what I have built is City Hall. Sadly, it's tagged. I think I might rename the station City Hall, but with its. But I like the name of it already. In fact, no, I will rename it. Because it's right next to the City Hall. You've got Samford Suburb over there with those tall buildings. Um. It's gone to the thing that had the most change. The S and A has had huge detailing. I mean, a huge amount of it. We've got Bloxy Pets with that advert there. My favourite part is these fish tanks because, as you can see, tiny little primitives in there. They're literally these size. And in here, you have a hamster, which is tiny. Baby hamster. <laughs> Uh, cold water fish and tropical fish. You've got information center. What is it? information centers? Tesco has had a massive upgrade. I have money to finish off this. Hang on, let's see how how much they are first. Oh no, they're even more primitives. Like a hundred dollar a primitive. So they're expensive. Obviously, I have temporarily opened Finks Cafe, which is this area here. I have temporarily opened it because I didn't... I don't know why, but I just did. So let's go to Bournemouth. Yeah, this station. Um, you have the station here. It looks really, really nice. Oh, got the bins in. But I have nowhere to put them. Can't put them. Cannot be built off grid. Damn it. So I'm just going to put a bin in the corner here. Yeah, this is Bournemouth. The only annoying thing, if you want to change platforms, you have to exit the station by going out of this entrance here. Walking along the front of the mall. Round the underground entrance, right the way down under here, all the way up here to here, which is the second entrance. Second then the second platform is a bit plainer than the first platform. The trains are still very um, frequent along these platforms. The only problem is, is because there's only like you have this station here. There's only like three stations along the line, and there's a Finks of Express train coming in through. There's like five trains on the line. I've got six platforms, but the train is very, very like frequent al along these platforms, which is what I like. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go underground. The underground actually has ticket barriers, this overground is like ticket machines and everything. These are just... Well, you get ticket machines for this, but those ones are scanned by a guard, these ones are automatic. So you come down here, all these signs are tagged, sadly. I have an old express lift, because this is a 70s station. Lovely and old. Sadly it doesn't work. I just put it in there for show. It looks really nice though. As you can see, it empties out here. Uh, lovely tiling and lovely ceiling, but my favourite part is actually the platform. Because just look at this. It looks so modern, so realistic. Obviously, this looks more modern than the overground. The overground was built 70s. This was built 90s? I don't know. But these are. this is a staff door. So, as you can see... Wait, what? 
No. Yeah, as you can see, I've got a one-way barrier here. Nobody can get down here. Apart from staff. Upgraded Waterloo. Little sneak peek into what's happening on the other side of that wall. Little sneak peek. Just a tiny one. Let's just look away now. So let's just head above ground here. And I show you the new stuff that has been made. Is that the part of the oh, crap. Um yeah, this is this is a new railway line which is coming and it's called Crosslink. Um, just go on his Instagram, I don't have his Instagram, but he, he'd probably say it in one of his videos. He's added some sneak peeks to the to Crosslink. I haven't had it open yet. I've just had it on testing because it needs... I'm just testing it. This is, in real life, an automatic people mover. This will be the driverless train. These metros and the overgrounds and the Finks Expresses and the buses will all be driven. These would not be driven. So these are all automatic software controlled trains. So obviously there are some hold ups on this, so I might as well rectify that. But the, but here the trains are quite um frequent. We might even be able to do a spot of trespassing in the tunnels at at another station in a little while. This train won't depart yet. Yeah really. But the other side of that wall is Waterloo. And this is what the blue stuff is about. Because our train goes underneath the street of Sanford Suburb. It goes like this. It literally just goes under the street. How, like, how cool is that? But the only unrealistic part I don't like is... I don't mind it, but... I feel like it spoils the area a bit. But... Oh, I'll see how I can fix this in. Down there is another line. Down there is also the caravan site. There's another railway line there. This is Walton. Walton has had some improvements. I mean, I have opened it to the public. This is an awesome place built by Disco. 
and houses done by Sam. This is new, so it goes all the way along there, sort of over there, through there, round, back through there underground. So this is a very busy railway line, but I really like it. As you can see, this is the smoothest. This is a smooth curve. We obviously just clipped that bridge, but that's fine. We head over here, past a car park, which hasn't been finished yet. Past this bridge, over another railway, next to this. There's the heritage. There's the, another line. Oh crap, I've spoiled it. Okay, yes, I have a heritage line. Oh, I still have people coming over that bridge. I built that temporarily. Because there was no access to the island. I suppose I won't delete it. Oh, I'll get back on the train. I suppose I won't delete it just in case, but it could be deleted. This is going to be a very long video. Uh, which is probably to be expected because this is a very huge park. Obviously, I slow the trains down before heading straight through this wiggly bit. So this is where everything is controlled. Server room for this um, for this line. Oh, let's just do some trespassing. So, I've done this server room, it's not finished, or anything, none of this is actually finished. This is the... Yeah, I know. It's... It's got a system map, but it's not realistic. The railway comes up just at the side of this building. So you, you can't see the trains unless you're standing here. You can see the trains heading that way. But you can't see them before they... I don't think you can see them before they head under the bridge. No, because they... Right, so they go under the tracks. They wiggle around under there. Wait, where's the wiggly bit then? Is this it? So this is the wiggly tunnel. Everything is blurry because my graphics are set there. So yeah, this just comes over the ground for no repairing reason. But, yep, there we go, there's a train. Ah, I can't reach it. The trains aren't so, um... Yeah, let's just do... Let's just walk through the tunnel. I built this tunnel portal. It looks really nice. But, this is a very interesting station. Very interesting. Because you have this bit here. Which is the... Which is a, basically a terminating... So like it lets everyone off here and people get on here. So that train has departed and gone round here. And in a little while, providing a little while is uh, quite a bit. There you go. It comes back out here. I mean, I didn't I don't really know why I need it, but Disco has built it, so it's Disco's choice. But, let's do some trespassing, providing that that train's going. Going. I have built this here for a little bit of operational. I still need to make the tunnels a bit shorter. But, this is the terminating tunnel. So all the trains rush. Don't, they don't actually rush. They're travelling about the same speed as me walking. Just a bit faster. And they come down here. Past this. I want to de I want to detail it. Past this extremely bright bit. My goodness. The thing is, it's not so bright up there. Hang on, where's the brightness on it? I honestly can't see. It's probably the lights up off the platform, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing in here. It's probably the lights up there. There you go, there's a train using the terminating. So they come underneath the main line in, and then up through there. I generally need to fix this now. So my god, it's very bright up here. I think it's that light up there. Yep, yeah, there it is. It's fixed it. But yeah, you walk along here, and then the train goes up a bit. It only goes on down so it can get under the main inbound line. Let's just catch this train before I miss it. Uh, doesn't really matter where I am. You can see the mesh 
along the walls here. Still need to shorten this bit. This bit here is very much uh, not done. Very not done. Trains are a bit quick for it here. The leveling is pretty bad at this station. I call it leveling because it uses a VF drive. This is Fink Safe. We'll come back to here. But we'll probably go back to Waterloo so we can do an entire loop on this line. Trains wait here for a very long time because this is a major station. I'm already 15 minutes into the recording, my god. But this is a very, like, major station. Uh, should we take the eco disc or should we take the stairs? I'm saying eco disc because eco disc is better. Oh, it's very busy down here. So what do all these people want? It's open. So let's just head on this train because there's only the only downside to this line is there's only literally one train on this loop. This is the problem with the signal around this area. I have a feeling we might clip that. Oh, never mind, we won't. That's a good thing with having this open. As you can see, there's an avoiding line here. Where the suburb trains... There you go, there's people getting on. So whilst these people are getting on... I think this one's... Gonna... Oh no, they just missed it. But there's the avoiding line. There's Woodland Wood. I've done some detailing with the station building there. We pass the suburb line train. We go past the depot. We're heading into Finksafe. Everyone wants to come to Finksafe apparently. Like two people. But Walton has two train stations. The city centre does. Finksafe is about to get its second. That area has two train stations. Everywhere apart from the city centre which has three, has at least two. Everywhere, everywhere has at least two train stations. This place here was de uh, detailed by my best mate. Uh, and I did the street lamps. I still need to do the buildings here. 
I did that build, that tall building there. I still need to do the rest. As you can see, these are very nice tower blocks. I haven't shown the sub Sanford suburbs, but we'll ca catch the bus first. No, it's actually called bus. Two S's. There's only two buses on this line. The queue path there is very long, but oh dear. I don't mind. Right, so we're heading along around here. Next station is Depot. Because that's main thing to play bus stop station. I have opened it temporarily for money. I will close it again when we need to do building works on it. Who's that? They're all paths in there. No way. I thought that was just a... Oh. I don't want to miss the bus, so I'll just hop on it. This area needs an entire detailing session. We'll go ahead and do that at some point. Thinks a face station. I think I think my mate wants that to be uh, best mate wants that to be some sort of castle with primitives. And when he started building it, it didn't save, so he's going to build it at some point soon. Oh no! Oh ho oh, oh, ho, that was a close one. You ran in front of the bus, you idiot. So the train... I want to put more trains on this line. We're just going to walk this path back to the main station hub. So we're just going to walk this path. Past the money farm. There is literally money farm down there. Which is why this path goes like that. So, back to the front of the park. We don't need to show the... We don't need to show the station. This has been shown many times. Let's just pop down to platform level, though. As you can see, not changed apart from the colouring. It's like... So this is where the bridge connection used to be. I need to rectify the bridge connection soon. Because the bridge connection used to go up here, all the way along there, past over the mile, and up to there. I still need to fix this lift shaft with the eco discs. Mono spaces, whatever they are. Uh, so this is the murderous alley thing. So this is, and I'm pretty sure you already know what it is, if you've watched Disco's video. This is Airport Express. So this is basically the main airport. Obviously it's not busy yet. I built long wide platforms with long trains because lots of people will hopefully be using the airport at some point. These trains are absolutely huge. These are obviously driver trains, so they require a driver, they're not driverless. I have this glass thing on the floor so you can look easily look up. Oh no, you just missed the train mark. It looks like you've missed the mark. There we go. That's whatever that is. So we go over this trestle bridge, which was built by my mate. Across the level crossing. Past Disco's caravan. Past the entire caravan park. And we head to this entrance only station, so nobody can get off here. We just stop here. That train will arrive. When that train arrives, opens its doors, we'll stay here for a couple of seconds, we'll shut and we'll move off, and then when we've passed him, I don't know if we fully, yeah, when we pass him, he departs, so you've got the taxis there. We pass this train, that's the new stuff going in for the airport. People haven't used it yet. This station layout is pretty hectic because you've got the platforms for the newer line, Crosslink, which is one way system so you can only enter the train. You can't go across here and you can't and you can only go through 
Yeah, you can't get down to the exit platform. You can come up here, obviously, because it's the main exit. And you can also walk along here if you're going into the airport. Depends if you live within the airport zone and that's your main station. Say if I built houses on an area around here, people would be able to use that station and walk through the exit. So let's head down to the airport. 25 minutes recorded. Oh my god. Can they stop dropping trash on the travelators? Literally, I put bins in here in the middle so you'd stop doing that. It gets on my nerves when there's a bin just a short walk away and they just drop their trash. It annoys me. But let's go up here. So we have a Costa Coffee here. Taxi rank. I think I might be dim I think I might be taken down if I show those signs too much. So let's just show over them. The airport is obviously open, so I have a duty free here. Filled with anything people want. I've just missed my flight. Screw it, I'm walking along here. We've got the hangar there. Oh, it's quite busy this flight. Let's just pop on the plane. Yeah. This So this is the main, this is the highest speed a taxi can go, or the taxi is going. The train is obviously just that slight bit faster. But then it stops there for a little while. So technically the taxi is, oh hello. So technically the taxi is a little bit quicker. We've got the holiday park down there, I don't need to show it. Ah, uh, there's the Things of Express, we pass through Walton. I'll need to show you that, but I'll show you the tower first, then I can walk down there. So this is the main taxi hub for the airport. As you can see, two people want to get on airport taxi. It makes me money. It makes me $10. The train's $5. I'm sorry I'm saying dollars, I mean pounds. We're in the UK here. I've obviously blocked this for the public. Let's just go into these ILEs. ILE Express things. Up to the top floor. As you can see up there, there's a blue primitive. 
we wander up here. There's the motors and these are the logic cabinets. Yeah, they look weird. But this is what we can do. Yeah, that's what that's the problem I have there. Trains are very bad at that station, so we just fall down there. No, we need to walk around the front. Obviously the station hasn't been finished yet. So Yeah, this is gonna be a very, very long route. Yeah, I need to fix that. But this is lovely clock tower, lovely station, still needs a bit of a fix. We still need to have like some sort of way of getting between two tracks and maybe a second platform. It really depends. But this is an I'm not making this up, the heritage railway. Yes, the trains are slow. <laughs> I know, I built it in the matters of operational interest for the park. But where's the goddamn train? Because it's very slow. I think by now it should be heading... There it is, there's the train. My, my render distance for the... Not render distance, but like... My graphics distance and stuff like that isn't very high for the train, so... Alright, so that'll exit the people there. Obviously nobody's using this yet. I have, still haven't opened the holiday park to the public. I still have a long... I still have a lot of stuff that hasn't been opened to the public. So we just... Hop on here. And let's just enjoy a ride. Everyone from Sanford suburb would need there's the things to pay express again. I'm getting very busy. But we go through here. Under this lovely detailed co cutting, where my mate built his bridge. So this is my mate's bridge. I think I might call it him bridge, I don't know. But this is very slow, yes. So we stop here at the holiday park. Him also did this. Him of Hellfire did this. He's not in this video today, sadly, so. We, we don't necessarily rush here. We've got a massive freeway point coming up. So we've got the point that goes off to the depot. That point there, which turns us into a single track. The depot I really like. I made this uh, turntable with a, wa a derailed wagon on it. Don't know why, but oh well. Engine shed. I've also put a smoke emitter in up there, so smoke will rise up. Still don't know what about this. I need to delete that. Oh well, whatever. If it works, it works. Yeah, as you can see, there's two people on that train. The doors will open, he'll get on, but they're stuck on there. Which is a way I can make more money. Because they'll say, oh, the journey's really long. Just sit here and mild of you. I just remembered, nobody can actually walk up. Wait, no. Nobody can actually walk up to the car park, so I need to move these one-way signs to there. So I can feel free to delete all of these. If you want to get to Walton... Oh my god, lag. Massive lag. Lag. If you want to get to Walton, you can. Just walk up this ramp. This is the main car park for the Walco, Wilco, and the um, Aldi. As you can see, I did the realistic British thing of making the bridge really high when there's a railway. Let's go do some trespassing down at Woodland Wood. These lamps are just broken. These lights are meant to be creepy. This is before this line got electrified. As you can see, that's the original... Not the original track, but they're there. It's also grown and everything like that. But this is the main station building. Woodland Wood. 
station building. This can actually be used as a nice ho like sort of spot to hide in a hide and seek. Although if somebody does come over the Walton Bridge, you will be caught, and if somebody takes the train, not sure if you'll be caught. You probably will do. You probably will do get will be get caught. You probably yeah, you'll probably get caught. But this would be the best place in the park. As you can see, nobody really uses the suburb, the suburb line as much as they used to. Sanford High Street is here. Don't need to look around the SNAs. It's all the same as usual. That building there is the same. My house is the same. That building's the only one that's changed. Of course, that one's had that metal grill attached to it, but that doesn't need it. So we depart here. So let's just actually see if you will get caught in... Yeah, you will definitely be caught. You can see. You can see the people. So I've shown you the... I've shown you guys the taxis. I've shown you the airport lines. Shown you the heritage. Shown you every single line I can imaginable. I've also shown you up there. So I think that's the end of... I think that's all I have to show. It takes 40 minutes to... It takes 36 minutes to tour this entire park. But it's still really epic. And I can't... I can't thank my mates. Disco, Star Sailor, Blaze Russian... Sam, who doesn't really get on here anymore. But they've all helped me build this lovely town. City. It's a lovely city of mine, and I'm really grateful.